Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a little while, not that long this time. Today we're just going to be painting in my sketchbook, and I've, I've been really getting into landscapes recently, which is really calming for me to paint because I love little tiny flowers and big rolling hills. So the purpose of this one was actually to test out some watercolors that I'd recently got. I only got a ton of Da Vinci watercolors, around like 50 tubes. Yeah, a lot. And I can't really just bring myself to swatch them all out all at once. So what I've been doing instead is I will uh, make limited palettes and then figure out how I like it. And this one had Burnt Sienna Deep, which is PR101, Alizarin Crimson Quinacridone, which is PB19, Cadmium Yellow Deep with PY35 and PO20, a Manganese Blue Mixture with a PB33 and PB15, and then an Indigo with PB27 and PB19. The Manganese Blue Mixture was my favorite out of all of them because of how slightly it granulates. The indigo was honestly pretty disappointing for me. I definitely don't think that it's one that I'll keep on my main palette ever. The Payne's Gray was way more vibrant and more blue and more deep. The This indigo like really just doled out into this gray cloudy sky, which if it's what you're looking for, then that's great. But the color, the tonal shift was incredible. So right now in the blue sky on my actual 18 well palette, I have a Cerulean Blue Genuine, which is PB36. And that one is like a little bit, I would say warmer and lighter than the manganese. And it's definitely not as richly toned. And I, I really like the manganese. I'm very excited to finish using the Cerulean Blue Genuine. Um, because then I get to use that one, and I love that one. And honestly, this cottage did not go the way that I planned. It was definitely different in the way that I did not use masking fluid before I started for the little flowers. And honestly, the color is a lot more dull than I would have expected. And I think that's because I started out with the indigo. And I don't think I'll do that next time. So in the middle of making this, I did some red bushes, which I honestly thought, hey, this looks bad. So that's why I always have to use mo like more than one medium, like not just watercolor, because if I only use watercolor, I would never be happy with anything. And that's not good. So as soon as I was actually done with everything that I was happy with, I had to go over it with the greens and the blues and the and everything that I could with the Neo Color 2 Wax Pastel Watercolor Crayons. I'm really glad that I tried those. I use them like every day. And I went over it and I was like, hmm, this isn't enough. So I just went over it again. It's kind of like a Posca pen, but smaller and not paint. I also use a colored pencil but instead of actually coloring, I was using it to create texture. I would be able to go over them with the Neo Color and um, actual paint and make it look like it was on purpose and to create more depth. And then I just finished it off with a fountain pen, as always. It was more of a, a little tiny trying to figure out what these colors do painting wise and not just swatching, which is definitely important. But I wouldn't say that this one's my favorite. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll have a great night or morning or whatever time you may be in. And uh, 
Yeah. See you later, guys.